what's up guys so today's video we're going to be doing an inspection of this retaining wall that was installed this is a cmu style retaining wall um, and this wall was just put up about six months ago and it's already starting to show signs of failure you can see right here let me get my shadow out of it the wall is is bulging a little bit here and then there is a secondary spot oh okay here it is i thought i was going crazy for a second you can see here right here there's this crack and again this section is looking like it's starting to bulge so the owner of this property this is a commercial site contacted me and when the guys built this wall they didn't have any inspections done by the local inspector or the engineer who designed the wall so what the owner wants to do now is we're going to dig four test pits in front of the wall and inspect the uh, footing to make sure it met the engineer's uh, design. And I'll cut to that right now. So here you can see the design of the wall. And this is what we're looking for, the footing down here. You can see the footing width is supposed to be three feet wide. And uh, about one foot of it will be under the wall. So that means there should be two foot extending out in front of the wall. And then the other thing we're looking for is the actual depth of the wall, of the footing. You can see here, the bottom of the footing should be at three foot. Um, the footing itself should be two foot eight. So that means this asphalt and base is about four inches right here. So once we open up the asphalt, we should find the top of that footing pretty quick. Um, I know it depends how, you know, the block lands, there's some chances that it might be a little deeper. You know, if the, if the grade was, let's say right here, it's up a block and a half, it might be a little deeper down, but it shouldn't be too far off. You know, we should see it anywhere is between four and I don't know, 10 inches at the most, I would think. So we'll get the cutting and the digging and we'll see what we have. So unfortunately, things aren't looking too good with these inspection pits. I'll show you again in the drawing, but here is the concrete footer. It's way down here. Why it's down that deep, I don't know. It's supposed to be four inches beneath this blacktop. I can understand if it was maybe another eight inches below that because of maybe how the block landed or something like that. But um, that's, that's one issue, but the main issue is how far it comes out you could tell from the tape measure there it only comes out about 16 inches this type of wall is designed to be like a cantilever style the footer itself is supposed to extend out two feet in front of the wall which is about this line this is about a two foot line so once again we were expecting to see this footer extend out at least two feet in front of the wall which you saw from just a moment ago it is not and as well as it being two foot eight inches thick now we don't know how thick it is but we know it doesn't extend out far enough so what does this mean bud that they probably made it the footing too small that's right they did make the footing too small and why do you think they made the footing too small 
because they probably were tired from digging and tacos are the best. <laughs> and tacos are the best. Yes, that is it. They probably got tired of digging and then they wanted to get some tacos. Yeah. And then they said, you know what? This should be good. <laughs> but it's not good, right? Yeah. It is not good. And you can see in our second, second test pit over here, Same deal, this, this area comes out even less. It's about 12 inches. You see this is 12 and a half there and that's set behind it. It's unfortunate. I, I, I Honestly, I feel bad for the customer. You know, he, he spent a lot of money to have this wall built and the guys who built it, they, they didn't follow the plans by the engineer and he found out afterwards that they didn't have it inspected with the township. So we have the engineer, he's actually out here right now documenting and taking measurements to come up with a plan other than just rip the whole thing down and rebuild it because the customer, honestly, he doesn't want to do that and I would feel bad if he had to do that. Um, we're talking about maybe digging this whole area up and putting a new footer in, the right size footer and anchoring it to the wall. But that's all, that's all up to the engineers. And uh, the other thing I have going on here, we're gonna be replacing, well, I shouldn't say replacing, we're gonna be reinforcing this existing wall. If you could tell, you see how it, it, it's bowed out. The plan is the, the neighbors behind them, they, their, their elevation, their grade is about right here. And they have a pool, an in-ground pool. So the owner does not wanna rip this wall down and possibly disturb or damage anything with the pool. So what we're proposing is to build a retaining wall right here, then backfill this whole area with uh, with stone, drainage stone. Um, so the engineer is drawing something up for that. This is that commercial job that I mentioned in the last video I posted that we're gonna be doing. We'll probably, you know, by the time the engineers draw everything up and we get approval from the township, it probably won't be until June maybe July when it comes to retaining walls people make sure you're you're hiring reputable contractors and and make sure that they're getting the inspections done because that's key if this if this was inspected even by the local inspector or the engineer who designed the wall um, they wouldn't have had this problem they should have came out once they had the trench dug and the rebar set they should have came out did their rough inspection then poured the concrete and everything would have been fine well thanks for watching guys i'll catch you on the next one